call on Professor Patu Tommy, founder, Center for Values in Leadership, and his good is coming on at this time. So let's hear what he has to say, both about values and about Igbo values. As you know, Pat has been a very strong voice on national issues, on core values of development, on integrity, and on character. Professor Patu Tommy, you're welcome to the virtual lecture now. Well, thank you very much. Because uh, um, uh, I, I, I would like to begin by saying that there is, uh, like uh, Sam just said, sometimes lack of clarity in the role of Ohaneze and how it is playing that role. Uh, as a young person who used to joke about gathering of uh, Igbo politicians around the Dr. Alex Ekweme, uh, when he was vice president, I used to say, Nikakus, Abiakwa, Nikakus. I, I like to think that that is the root of Ohaneze as we know it today. And that has made Ohaneze uh, tend to define its role in a very narrow, more political kind of way. I, I think that should change. And this really has become more important for us today that our country is in a deep crisis of being. And the resolution of that crisis is going to be, in my opinion, no matter what anybody says or likes it, a return to a true federation. And very important in how we play globally as a nationality group in a true federation is the sense of our ethnic nationality character. There has been a major sweep that is not Igbo in terms of how Igbos are seen today in the world. And I would like to uh, see Johanese play a more direct role in engineering the Igbo value. It has consequence for business. It has consequence for politics. It has uh, a consequence for the prestige of Igbo man anywhere he may be uh, in the world. It is said that values shape human progress. And um, there is no question in my mind about that. I think that is values and institutions work together in the manner of speaking to shape progress. And Ohaneze can be part of an institutional arrangement that help us to reinforce certain values. Uh, there's something I try to define about this funny business of when you want to make a joke about somebody who is obsessed with money, is loud, being an Igbo person. That was never the Igbo man. The Igbo man used to be known as modest. He, he could have a fortune and is wearing short knicker and batroon slippers. But I have my thesis on how the war helped damage things. Uh, Makanade to Zinabife, and I want the Boku, and I want a Oku de Gana Fabu de Nirbana Bondia Rauco. That is not true. Civility, dignity in the culture and traditions uh, that the Igbos have come out of is what defined Igbo man, facilitated his ability to get into business, to be trusted by others, and, and so on and so forth. But these have been disrupted by these funny stereotypes that are being projected. I think that one of Hanese's biggest challenges should be to reshape how the world sees the Igbo man as a man who produces. And that is the core of where Nigeria must be traveling. Nigeria is a failing state because it is based on sharing, not on production. The fundamental value of the Igbo man is a wealth creating, value creating, productive person. That must be communicated in very clear ways by Ohanese Ndibu. And amongst the ways that we can set about doing this is being clear what Ohanese does. Right now, it doubles in and out of politics. Ima, I listened to Ima's presentation very much on the money. I agree with him in just about uh, everything he has said. But Olaga does not just come out like that. Ohanese talks too much. Ohanese is too visible. It must take on the role of the essence of the Igbo nation coming out. People don't even see where it's coming from, and the effect is just coming out. I go back to Igbo State Union and the impact, and I, I like to talk a lot about how 
been brought up in education and how Igbo's leapfrogged because it was possible to organize the Igbo State Union in a manner that when the Eastern region found that it could not afford to run to compete with the West as it were in education, in the quarrel between Zeke and Udoji and all of that, it found the philosophy of Ibuanyi Danda, Bunu Bunu, Ibuanyi Danda. It was Ibuanyi Danda that caused Igbo State Union to work with uh, traditional Igbo society, to work with missionaries, to work with government, to create the space where Igbos had more opportunity to go very quickly in education, to catch up and overtake those that seem to have a head start on them. Um, the bell has gone, the bell has gone. I didn't even start speaking, but well, thank you for allowing me to participate. Okay? Yeah, Carry thank on. you very much. <laughs> you say you didn't even start speaking. I disagree vehemently. You've said more than enough. Very punchy observations, useful insights. And like I said, you moved in on the area of values. Please let me know the essential points. Oh, la, 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 la. Okay.